All right, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. We have an off. We're just into this game, and look, we have a VTOR offered to us. Very cool. Maybe a Galilean mining and some metals. Don't mind. Do we have any points cards? We do have a research outpost and a, another discount and a oh oh yeah. I think we like this. I think we like this a lot. So we're going VTOR. We want to score as many points as we can. We got some science. We got some space cities. We got some ground cities. We got some space station discounts. We got some interstellar. We're only gonna have like thirty dollars. We're gonna lose five dollars and get a bunch of titanium. Olympus Mons is in play. So if we can put our city there, fantastic. We want a research outpost. Um, if, if not, I'm just wondering, like, how do we get the immigration shuttles down on turn one? I don't think we can get both. And does that matter? Also, the milestones and awards are different on this one. So we've got to uh, keep that in mind as well. Let's bring up this chat box here. All right, Galilean Mining, $5 gone. Metal Rich Asteroid, $5 back. Plus we get a TR, so that's nice. Um, Acquired Space Agency, Biolab, cool. Instead of going for the discounts, oh, but the discount comes with three cards, right? Like, that's the biggest piece. Oh, we have to fund an award. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Celebrity over 20. Estate dealer or benefactor. I always forget about that. Let's go over 20 because we have, I don't know, two of them already. And... I really don't think it's the right play. I think space agency and stuff makes sense first, but I'm still going to play it. We're going to get a city tile in play. We're going to get three cards. Vitor, yeah, exactly. Let's do some tricks. And that worked out really well, actually, because now we're going to take that and we're going to get a mining area down on Elysium Mons. And we're going to be looking pretty good. We're gonna be looking really good actually. Hell yeah. And then we also got a nitrogen rich. Interesting, interesting. Uh, log. What are people playing? Psychrophiles and Saletta. Fun, fun. Saletta is what uh, Fobolog is doing. He also, for the records, Fobolog is the one, he got six additional titanium to start the game, so. Pretty powerful. And then Research Network is what our our boy down here got. So Mohol Polar Industries, he went pretty heavy in heat. So we have two players that went heavy into heat, which is pretty interesting. Um, we will play a mining right down here for a bunch of titanium. And then we're actually gonna make money back here by playing the space station. We could have gotten the... Um, the Fobo space haven there but i think it just makes more sense to get the get the solar wind and then next turn we go for the immigration shuttles and then we'll have five income that can go anywhere instead of like quadrupling down on titanium income because right now we got three titanium income that's plenty it's really going to be a matter of getting more points Log, Psychrophile, Giant Space Mirrors, Building Industries. I mean, people have good starts. So, two titanium and two dollars. We get the two titanium back. We could get the plant income, but we're going to hold. We're going to wait on that. Pretty good, actually. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this start. I mean, we're Vitor. So, like, we're playing against other good corporations. Fobolog and stuff. But we're feeling okay. And Draft is on in this one. So, ooh, I, I'd love some space hotels, but I'd rather take the colonizer training camp. Get that Jovian out of the game. Uh, it has points on it, so it's really $3 off for us. And that's pretty sick. We have some energy. 
We don't actually like TR all that much as as Vitor, so I'm not going to worry about it. Standard technology, I mean, import of nitrogen. Like, the fact that both of these cards are left either means that these people don't know how to draft or uh, they don't care about late game point cards. They don't, they don't understand the value of it. Are we actually going to take the city? It's so late game, is it? We can we don't we can take it though because we have so much money in titanium right now right oh we're on Phobolog. what do we have yeah we have six titanium okay we're still fine so six titanium is gonna be immigration shuttles that's eighteen dollars right so we're gonna have a lot of money left after that even Phobos space havens probably next turn. Arcea Mons, that looks like a mining area. Oh, it's a natural preserve, okay. It's a good spot, good spot. We got lots of points cards in hand. We're gonna play lots of points cards. We're gonna we're gonna make lots of money. I would have loved that card though, to be to be honest. We funded an award to start the game. What is this? Generalist, have productions and everything. Uh we can get pretty close. Like we're only at two right now, but we're gonna be there faster than you would think. What's this specialist? 10 income in one category? I keep reading our uh, number of it as if it's wrong. Let's uh let's get the immigration shuttles. And I can play colonizer training camp. It gets it's fine. It gets us money back right away, and I can still afford the lichen. I just keep forgetting that I'm blue. So when I'm looking at these milestones, it's like, yep, yeah, last place, last place, last place. Tycoon, we're doing okay. And Legend, we're not. And then we funded this bad boy. Desert, Estate, Benefactor. So TR is pretty powerful in this particular version. Because of that. Benefactor. Uh, adapted Lycan. What are they playing? Development Center's good. Mining Expedition was good. Natural Preserve was good. I mean... I probably like our start the best just because we're Vitor. I mean, it, honestly, that's all it really takes. Is your Vitor? Well, you're, you're doing all right. Who got sabotaged? Did we get sabotaged? I don't know. Uh, I think protected habitats is like actually so good. Even though we're not going for plants right now, like we could go for plants in the future. It's it's pretty important to get that. Kelp farming, uh, all this stuff is good. I think we'd rather just, we'll get the earth income on this one. Yeah, not, they all they were all fine. Wave power has a point on it, so that one's easy. I know kelp farming had a point on it, but it's so far down the road, right? Like it is a plant tag which we wanted, but we'll take all this. Bringer of the donuts, donut bringer. Uh, do they just play? Oh, Electro Catapult. Okay. That's fine. I thought they played Earth Catapult. I was like, man, everyone's getting Earth Catapult except for me. Uh, let's get the Space Haven because that will get us money back. And then with our money back, we do not have enough for Acquired Company, unfortunately. So we'll just protect it Habs early. We have two cities on the board, though. Very cool. And by that, I mean it's only if mayor was in the game and mayor is not in the game so we're not too worried doesn't really do much let's see heat heat bumps microbes fine i mean we already have six points on cards which is pretty fine like pretty okay uh valley trust has like one we're gonna pass so we're gonna have lots of money or lots of time on our clock 
Everyone's doing pretty good this game, actually. For time. Nobody's nobody's squandering it at all. We're all at a very similar level of TR. This guy's got a lot of heat income. This guy's got a lot of heat income because they went Saletta and Preludes for heat income. And our Preludes were way more just about getting a start going and then this titanium income. I mean, let's look at our incomes, right? Three and two and some energy and a lot of heat. We've got five and then four. A little bit of energy just in case. And then Phobolog is really low on incomes, but has even more heat income. Um, so, you know, I feel like Red is the one that the, we're the most scared of right now. They both have, what, one point on card? And we have six. Let's also look at, actually, I guess we can just look at the award. Who has played? We've played two cards over 20. The Saleta people have played one card. Which was Saleta. But we have this card for later. So we can go up to three. I'm not sure how many cards over 20 people are going to play. It could go as high as like eight probably. Like right. You know you think of your Earth Catapults. Your. Uh, any of your Jovian Multipliers. Um, or Jovians in general. A couple of things like the Space Elevator. It's not a tremendous number of cards that aren't events and are over 20. But. They definitely exist. If we can go for Lycan, Any ideas? like Bushes is way stronger than Lycan, but we have Nitrogen Rich Asteroid in our hand. So let's get Lycan, because that is a second plant tag. And if we can find one more plant tag, oh baby, baby, we are going to be tripping. We're going to be doing super well. Um, A two point card here, or do we want Ants? We have protected, um, we've got protected habitat, so ants can't even hit us, so we can just let it float around. If they, if one of them buys it, then the other one has to get some. They're throwing quantum extractor around like it's candy alongside large convoy. I feel like a crazy person. Like, this is incredible. These are so good. <laughs> I wanted the large convoy. Trust me. I really do. But the $2 off and the four energy can be massive. So we're going to take that instead. Um, I feel like a crazy person for not taking large convoy. But like I love some space discounts. Especially with Vitor where you're making money back on the cards that have points on them. Like it's pretty, it's pretty crisp. No milestones or awards to get right now. Let's uh let's get our income up. And let's get our plant income up. And that's basically our whole turn. There is specialist in here, right? So if we can get our money income all the way up to 10, then we can buy that. Also, ecologist, we now have two of the tags for it. So like we're doing okay there. Um, Tycoon, we are at 11 cards played, which is pretty fantastic. Legend, we're not even close. Generalist, I feel, I keep thinking that we're closer than we actually are. Because we're missing a steel. Okay, yeah, we're only missing a steel and a heat production. Which we don't have a way of getting right now, but that's fine. We're, we're in a good spot. We're in a good spot. Are we going to win? Yes, definitely. Do I know that? No, not at all. Um, it's still a lot of things up in the air right now, for sure. Arctic Algae. I'm glad I took a pick. That's red. Red was already the one I was worried about. This guy's got Psychrophiles as well. Oh, man. Ants is good because that's, that's a fun player to hit with it. 4% Oxygen would have been later on, though. I don't know. Ants was probably the right card to buy. I forgot that he had already played a micro card. And now that he played Tartar Grades, I'm like, my dude. Card resources, none. 
Uh, yeah. I mean, here's the thing, though. With Sacrifice, you can spend them all. And with Target Grades, you can also choose not to take it. So, like, it is what it is. The fact that they're nuking the planet to put up the heat is crazy to me. Because they both have a ton of heat income. So, like, they are going to benefit from the heat track. If they want to take minus points to put up the heat faster, that benefits me. Not to mention, like, if you get plant cards and stuff. So maybe maybe they have plant cards in their hand that they're trying to get out. Hard to say. We are close. We have two science tags. So with playing this one, we're pretty much on Quantum Extractor. And also we have two plant tags. So um, pretty easy for us to get our super plant income stuff. Asteroid Mining is the one to play. It's got points on it. It uses Titanium. And it's Jovian, so like, always chances. Olympus Conference, insanely powerful. I love Lagrange. We have $3 off on it, but we can't get it, unfortunately. Because the other one's so good. A one-point animal. Hard to say no. Makes me wish I took the... Uh... The other card we do have protected habitat so it can't be hit if we can get it on the ground and then uh one point windmills once again we are happy as all hell and we'll grab all of these cards this is so good the only thing i want to know and i don't think we can is can we play up to quantum extractor here right you play olympus conference that only costs you six yeah, we won't, you just don't have enough money. It's so cheap. Six and five. Actually, we can get Quantum Extractor. And then after playing Quantum Extractor, we'll have this for 25. And eight titanium is only 24. Quantum Extractor doesn't come with points on it. But we will be getting a point or card for free. So we play this. And then we play this. And then we look at our card. What do we get for free? Or processor, which we're happy to sell. Now, Milestone, somebody else got the uh, Ecologist, which is fine. Somebody looks like they're going to get Generalist. We're really on our way to Tycoon, but I don't think we're going to get... We're not going to get it this generation. That's for sure. That is for sure. So it means that next generation, we're, we're going to try and chase that stuff. We only have 21 TR. We are back on TR. But hey, we are like really trying to lock down our own celebrity award here. Cool. They built the city. So now we get a discount and some energy. And then we cannot play this without selling a card, which we have a card to sell because we got ore processor and we don't care for it. So I think we have enough, unless I did the math wrong. This is $25 because we have $5 off of space cards, four, four off space and one off anything. So we're in a, we're in a good spot. We are absolutely in a good spot. What are people doing? Psychrophiles. The Cupola City was fun and the Electro Catapult. I mean, Red's doing a lot of things that are pretty solid. But you have to remember, they have minus one points on cards as well. So they're not like doing so great that uh, we have to stop everything. I mean, we have six Titanium income. So as long as some Jovians come our way, heaven forbid any of the multipliers... What I really think that we're going to do well on, though, is nitrogen-rich asteroid. Like, we just need a plant tag at this point, and the heat is coming up fast. I wish we had gotten... Well, kelp farming still wouldn't have done anything for us, so it's really just bushes. But when we didn't choose bushes, what we chose was, our, like, algae or some... Not algae, um... The... The... Lichen. Lichen. So, like... We didn't miss an opportunity to pick a plant tag that would have been relevant. So we're just in a good spot, you know? We're just we're just in a good spot. Things are happening. 
Um, ooh, uh, so do we do we take the plant tag? I think we take the plant tag, and then any of those space tags that come back, we chase them. We don't have money or um, rebates on space events, so we're not as critical on it. Heather is an even better space thing. Restricted area is so good, though. Still, I think we're going ground pound on the plants. I'd rather play Heather than the other thing. And, like, we actually already have a city on the board. Don't get me wrong. Uh, this is a points card. Local heat trapping for animals, though, is, like, really good. Let's take the, the two one-point animals with local heat trapping. Um, take it all. I wish we had like a steel income. Well, I guess we need a we need a a heat income as well. <laughs> How close are we to Tycoon? We have it. I just don't think I can get it. Oh, well, he bought Legend. So nobody can get Tycoon. Somebody's really close to Specialist. I guess we have to buy it. So Tycoon, that's the last milestone. Um, and then Heather. And I think that means that we literally do not have enough money. Right? 16 is $18. Then 7 more is... One shy? Oh, well, now I'm quite upset that we were, we were that close. I don't really want to sell anything, though. Unless I want to get rid of the imported GHG. But I just freaking bought it man I don't think I have any effects that uh, give us rebate other than points and there's no card I can play for positive points so imported GHG let's double check asteroid mine needs eight or nitrogen rich asteroid needs eight we have three plant tags we're gonna tempo I shouldn't have bought this card just because of the tempo cost. We lost $2, but we're not putting, you know, just because we made a bad decision doesn't mean we have to double down on it. We take our $2 hit, we do what needs to be done. We now have seven plant income. And we have an open city, we have livestock, like we got a lot of things that are gonna benefit. We have several things that get activated with oxygen one two three four cards in fact and who knows maybe we get like a state dealer in the game or desert settler or something like that what did he play symbiotic fungus and business contacts okay uh we have six money income he has seven he has one we have six titanium coming in and we've been able to spend it and now we have all the plant income so we're looking we're looking really good like they both have a lot of heat and that's fine right the heat's good if they use their heat bumps or we're going up to minus four this turn but what they don't have is oxygen so they're gonna run the heat on each other and we're gonna run the oxygen and it's gonna be great we do want another city, though. Like, we want a city over here in this green patch. Or a city in here and just, like, deal with the fact that, yeah, there's a three-plant spot. It's just there's so few oceans. Like, what do we do about the no ocean effect? That seems, seems lame, you know? The no ocean effect. Like, I would love it if, uh, if there were oceans, you know? 
That would be that would be cool to me. What about if um What about if we got some cities, city cards? That'd be cool. Let's do that. The funny thing is, if we put... Oh, actually, we do have Elysium Mons over here. So we could, like, buy two greeneries next turn. Like, plantation. And then greenery with our plants. And then greenery again. Just to make a little diamond. I don't know. We have protected habitats, too. So we really can just sit on our plants. Like, we don't have to force them down. It's a good mix, you know? One second. Let's quickly check the... Uh, the Yub Tub. Do, do, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, right. Optimal arrow breaking commercial. All of these cards. Can I have all of these cards? What do we have? We do have a space event. Here's the thing. Like rebate cards are so powerful. We don't have a multiplier. We don't have, we do have some earth tags. Look, we're just happy with two of these. I'm going to take the optimal arrow breaking because I, I feel that it's powerful. I, my brain just tells me that it's it's too good to pass up. Uh, robotic workforce is also good. I don't know what we have built on the ground. Just mining rights. But it's a science tag. Like, it's, it's good. I don't... I... I just know my internal heuristics are telling me this is good grab this card i don't know why i don't know what about the card is rovers is like incredibly good um i just know like through all the billions of hours of playing the game like these are the cards that we want to be grabbing and commercial district honestly that is totally like fine like we're gonna put it here for the triple card spot or triple plant spot and we're gonna laugh uh chronological i always want this on chronological because i want to easily be able to see what we got most recently all right it is our turn we don't want to fund an award so let's yeah commercial district and and rovers it sucks because i wanted to put my greenery down first and get the steel um but what if they what if they play a city then we just we'd rather have the two dollars from you know them playing a city and rovers paying out so we do have how many science sites five so we could play the interstellar colony ship this turn. I'm also thinking about just throwing down two greeneries. It like having greeneries where we have them could lead to us getting uh, an award, like um, a state dealer, for instance. yeah let's just get our greeneries popping because I, I like that card and the money back from it what do we get what do we get protected valley yo that's really good for us because that can go right in beside our city here what are they playing plant conversion plant conversion they're getting tardigrade sacrifiles fine fine all fine um Ugh. 
Just a little stretch in there. Oh, stretch. Everybody take a stretch. Make sure that you're not, you know, getting bad posture. Everybody should be, you know, nice and loose. We're in a really good spot right now. We're going to optimal arrow break just because we want to have it. And then just because we actually make money back. Like, look, this costs us $1. We have four. Oh, no. Now we have nine because we got money back for the, like, space event. And we get money back because it has points on cards. So we're up to 16 points on cards. They've got seven and one. They do have more TR than me, but the one that has seven points instead of 12 has only one more than me, you know? And green does not have any cities on the board. And then red has one point. He's got more TR than me, but like no points. He's got a city, but like whatever, dude. We're all tied up in the milestone department. And open city, plantation, protected valley, all those things are going to come in handy. The seven plant income that we have is like insanity. They have two and some stuff. They did just play a strip mine, I think I saw. So that's pretty cool. He's got enough heat and he does not have enough heat. Let's pass because we have enough heat to bump it bump it whatever but then they would bump it and get an ocean and like i don't care i don't want to give you an ocean you don't deserve it you have to fight for that ocean i'm not letting you have it so plus we like our uh we like having our heat gives us a chance to play our uh, local heat trapping and stuff so we're chilling round eight I love Mars University. I also love Earth Office. But I think the Mars University is just better for us right now. The card cycling is so powerful. Earth Catapult! Oh my lord! Somebody had Earth Catapult and didn't buy it? Man, imagine. Imagine. And like, here's the thing. Is there was the uh, nitrogen or hydrogen imports or whatever that was incredible as well. Um... I don't think that I need power. Uh, and that would have given us two one-point animals. So, like, that's the reason why the other card was also powerful. Um, special design, I guess, could be helpful. Like, this is, this is crazy. Like, Earth Catapult is so good. And we got Earth Office! Oh my god, screenshot! Where's the clip? Like, clip show this! I don't know what you do, but like, the fact that this stuff is coming around. Oh my lord! Oh my lord, the humanity! The insanity! He's got enough heat to get the free ocean, so I think that's what, what we have coming inbound here. Yep, yeah, okay. And he's got enough plants to do that double oxygen bump as well. And we we don't have enough plants to deal with that or to stop it. Uh, but that's fine because it'll get us up to livestock and livestock is good. I mean, like we're we're doing so good right here. Power supply consortium. I don't that didn't hit us. Yeah, it hit uh, it hit green. Okay, we could play Plantation. And that would get us the free heat bump. But it would kill our turn. So we're not going to do that. We're going to Earth Office into Earth Catapult. And then they're going to get the double Ox bump. And that's fine. It's fine. To get the double Ox bump, what I don't like is that they give Red a point. right so that's kind of poopy i mean now we could go for the double ox bump i'm not sure that it's the best he's pretty good all right well 12 bucks then that's there i want to build the city here
also potentially build a city there. But I guess that ruins some of the capital placements. So this is not a city for the record. So it's not getting bonus adjacency points. We are leaving a good spot though here. So people might think to come in on it. Um, Livestock is what I want this, this generation for sure. What do we want a card cycle? That's my question. Robotic workforce, potentially. It's a card cycle for us, but we don't have that much that we're willing to copy. We could copy the four income. Um, Log, what did he play? Fish and small. Okay, so we just lost two of our plant income. And then he got a space elevator. How is that fair? So that's a heat bump. And then... I don't... I genuinely don't know what to do with the Mars University right now. Let's see. We get a card for free. Insulation. Alright. That's a, a free card to throw away. And... Fuel Factory. That's another one that we can throw away. Cool. We want livestock. Livestock is the one that we're gunning for right now. But, and we're in a good spot for it too, because even if, even if they decide that they don't want to spend their plants, like Phobolog has 15 of it, right? But if he chooses not to do it, we can still play our card, our livestock, just by using our special design. And we have $3 off this, so we get a uh, card cycle for it. So we don't even really care. Like, it's fine. I'm thinking about doing it right now. But first... First, we can play windmills. And that's basically free. Because we get as much money back as we spent on it. And then let's skip. And let's give Phobolog one more round to play his oxygen bump. If he doesn't do it, that's fine. We did, we did our part. And look at all our effects. We have 12 effects lined up. So we're getting money back if we play points cards. We're getting money back if we play points cards. We're getting $2 off everything. $3 off of, off of <laughs> Earth cards. We get $3 and 3 heat back if we play a space event. If somebody plays a city, we get 2 bucks. We're getting $2 off here. We got $3 off standard projects. We're getting plants and, or free cards every two science tags. Our habitats are protected. Two dollars off space and another universal discount. I know. So thank you, Highlander KG. Uh, yeah, Vitor with global discounts, and that's why early on, even though there were good points cards for us to grab, we took the you know microbe stuff anyway. Yo, somebody actually did the clip. I got the draft clip, my man. Yo, yo, please do. Can you post that in our in the Discord? Cause I do want that. Cause that's like it was like a really funny. I don't know. The fact, the fact that that was even something possible. Let's do the special design. That gets us half of a card and a card cycle. Which is broken that we have the unholy combo. That gave us some moss, which is fine. But then we play livestock. That means we've lost three plant income this round. Which is hilarious. I love that you actually can do the clip show stuff. Like, that's, that's freaking funny. Because we were just talking about it. And it was just like, well, bam! When you specifically are like, hey, I need this card, and then that card shows up, like, ooh, ooh. The clips that would have been amazing, too, are like the one with the IO mining on that very first uh, competitive four-player epic game when they let it go around in the draft. That just had me laughing, though, because Ross, Ross Aroni was uh, hanging out for those episodes, and he was in the chat, and he... Um, you know, was basically saying that we weren't going to win it. And I was like, my dude, like, there's no world in which we don't win this. Like, it's actually impossible. How long have you played this game, by the way? So, that's a hard question for me to say. I've been making YouTube videos of this game for, like, two years now. About two years, um... I don't know, maybe we even hit our two year anniversary and I didn't notice. But we also, you know, we don't have to throw our heat away just yet. We can scare them. Uh, I've been playing Terraforming Mars forever before that. 
Like literally, I think the first. Oh my god, AI! Antigraph, Antigraph, five dollars off of everything. Um, so I think I've been like I bought the Terraforming Mars board game when I was still and a points per Jovian that somebody didn't draft. Uh, but yeah, I've been playing the board game since I was in like my masters. Uh, media group. Uh, media, it's free. Is it better than a cheap city though? Like, I hate to say it, but it's just not better than a cheap city. It's so good though. We're, well, like, so many good cards are going by. So, since I was... That's unfortunate, because I just wanted to comment having an insane understanding for a new player. No, 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 no. Uh, absolutely. Like, no. I've... I've been playing the game since it basically was released. And I... Like, I don't know. Was that 2018? Was it 2018 or something like that? So, like, I've been playing for, like four or five years and i probably have over a thousand hours between playing on board with people uh i have like several hundred hours in this app i've got like 500 hours in tts 2016 i literally made um okay well i think i got it the year it came out so i'm pretty sure like, I've been playing it forever. Oh, I don't even have enough science tags. That's so freaking funny. Oh, I didn't... Dr I should have picked up more cards. I meant to pick up all the cards so we would have something to cycle with our card draft. Um, Do we play Underground City to pick up a card? No. Do we play Protected Valley? No. Open City? No. Uh, we play robot. We, we cycle out robotic workforce, probably. Yeah, no decomposers. Perfect. So decomposers, and then we don't need a mine. So anti grav, and we get rid of the mine. And I mean, that's a three point grab. Hey, private, always lurking, same as me. Private O'Malley. Oh, I mean, man, people like to, to lurk, and that's fine. Like, I, you know, I always look over and I see that I've got, like, five or six viewers, let's say. And I'm like, I know they be lurking, because I lurk in other Twitch chats from time to time. But it's great when people do speak up and start to share, because then you get that back and forth. Like, because I do a lot of video on demand, right? Like, just putting videos on YouTube and stuff. But when you actually get going, it's pretty sick. So, I've probably been playing by at least 2017, and I've got so many i would keep deco because it's plus three cash in the worst case decomposers oh yeah you're right i i kind of hucked it because to me i was thinking i have no cards in hand that would synergize with it but you're right i could have played it for free and got three dollars back but robotic workfare is another like card cycle for me which i'm pretty keen on um we have a lot that we can do i kind of like the idea of just getting my city though though the protected valley does come with uh the tr even though there's no oceans down yet KG and I play this a lot. We noticed a lot of new people since Epic Store's release. Okay. Have I seen you guys playing, like, on Twitch? Like, did I see, like, you guys playing, like, head-to-head -head with each other before? I thought I saw people in the Terraforming Mars category. Um, like, l streaming and playing against each other. Like, I thought that was a thing. I'm just peeking right now. You comp, you, you're catching me peeking. Yeah, I streamed it the other night. Okay, yeah, I had like you know a fun little stream going on just the other day as well. I almost clicked a heat bump there. It's not my turn yet. Maybe I stream rarely though. Private and I played a league. Oh, okay. 
League of Legends. I uh, I always go back to League only because I have friends that are super into it. But like, it's a good time. I wanted a, a, a switch of game plan though. So the last time I played, I think, well, I got really into it because they they released a new champion, and I was pretty into the whole Zeri thing. Not League of Legends. Pri private played a league game. A league game. What? Terraforming Mars. Oh my god, I should be in a Terraforming Mars League. Let's get a bunch of money using our titanium to play a points card. And... Are we going to copy? I think I'd rather have a card draw right now than anything else. And we'll just take it for a little bit of money income without using our energy. So that's a card draw. Callisto, yo! OTML terraforming Mars game. Well, the next start in the summer. You can join if you want, of course. Hey, that might be fun. Is it on specific nights of the week? Because that could be even like a, a series. Could be good content, exactly. Let's see if we can win in the terraforming Mars League. I assume it's on the app, right? I already play terraforming Mars on TTS. Uh... We are members of HodgePodge Discord, number one player. No, it's Swiss style. You are assigned to a division. Okay. You just play on the nights that you can. Heat Trappers, that's crap. Let's just take, we already know that we can't get media group, so we'll just grab our livestock now. Um, there are oceans to be purchased, so I guess we may as well buy an ocean here. It would get us another greenery. Schedule with set opponents, but you're given a date limit for each match. Oh, so you have to find you have to find your own time kind of thing? It's very interesting, yeah. There's a gold and silver league around a hundred participants. A hundred participants? So my only problem is that I end up getting a lot of things booked on my evening games. Like, on my evening. So it's like, oh, you know, Wednesday night I'm playing this with these people. Tuesday night I'm playing this with these people. And, like, I run out of personal time to do things that I care about. So that's always where the struggle is for me. But um, this sounds like a lot of fun. So I'm kind of into it. Let's play this ocean here and skip... I want to put this greenery beside a city. I also want to get a TR for it. Um, so next turn, if we go first, we might just do open city into greenery side by side. We could also open city over on this side, but open city here for us is, is a nice couple of points. Are we really worried about missing out on the greenery TR? I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, very flexible, and you're put into a division with similar time zone opponents. Oh, okay. So it's like you're playing at the same time in the evening. So if you're from the U.S., you won't be Europeans, for example. Well, and, and are you guys Europeans? Should I be should I be sad because I don't get to play against KG Highlander and Private O'Malley? Though those sound kind of... Highlander, I guess, sounds a little bit British because you could be from Scotland. Uh, but generally, Private O'Malley, I'm thinking, oh, well, I guess, I don't know why, it all sounds American to me. But uh, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, oh, I guess it's more Scottish. U.S. for me, it just felt, it just sounded right. I am from Serbia, yo, let's go, man. That's really cool. No, but the Nick but the nick is from the movie xd when i was a kid i liked it a lot but the nick who's the nick the nick the name the kg highlander kg maybe his name is kg something um two points on tropical resort is the obvious one here the nickname yeah 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 there can only be one the nick the nickname the nick okay 
Zeppelins. Uh, sorry, not log. Three events played. Seven events played. So this is like fourteen dollars plus buying the card, so it's like a ten dollar profit. But still, I don't think that we're worried for money. We're happy to just buy up, uh, buy up whatever. Domed crater can't be played, but somebody, somebody might be desperate for energy income. We'll throw that out for butchering the English language, not my native, dude. I um. I'm very sympathetic to that cause, basically. I, uh... It's hard. It's hard out there, man. Uh, also, we should be grabbing... Oh, we don't need to grab extra cards. We already have a throwaway. In case we get a science tag. Um... Okay, we need oceans. We probably want to end this sooner rather than later. I'm not sure that we're at risk right here. This guy's got 16 points on cards. This guy's got 12... We've got 36. They've got, you know, no Jovians. They've got no Jov... Well, a couple of Jovians. So I just don't see them having um, a chance for beating us right now. I don't have heat production. You don't have the heat production. Is there something that we need to put out here? desert settler estate dealer is what i wanted to fund and we can still do it yeah i would just end because you're basically out of target since you don't have more cards to play yeah and i honestly i don't have a card drawing engine either like i don't think that there's many threats in the game right now Oh, we don't have any. Oh, we don't have any heat production for Tropical Resort. I'm so used to having heat production. I just assumed. Uh, that's really freaking funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's so freaking funny. Um, eh, whatever. It's just so easy to play it for two points normally that I'm not even that upset that we picked it up and we can't. We can't get it down. See, that's the one thing I don't like about playing online. And it's happening, happening again. This is a glitch that we had earlier. Like, we're pretty sure we're ready to go. Yeah, and it's just eating our time. Maybe that's normal. Maybe that's as intended. But you can see us clocking down right now. Everybody's ready. And if I, if I quit and come back, the AI is going to draft different cards. Dude, Tropical's so good at the end of the game for two points. It's I know we don't have any steel production right now, but often we do. So it's like, I don't know why people be hating on it. I almost always have excess steel and like two points, like for $13. Like that's whatever, $6 a point, right? Obviously you have to buy the cards. Sometimes you have discounts. I don't know. I think that's a pretty good ratio yeah so if you play ai on it's very tricky yeah whatever glitch one sec i'll i'll let them know that i'm gonna i'm gonna go main menu yeah 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 time is ticking i know i just don't i just know when i do this the ai drafts cards and they draft the wrong cards it's not a good ratio. It's only worth it if you have a lot of steel to dump end game. I, you know, I guess we have to 1v1 private because I, uh, I'm Vitor. I get $3 back on it. The heat's maxed. I have $5 off universal. So obviously this is a bad time to have it because I don't have any heat production and I can't even buy it. But I think in general, there's enough things that synergize with it to play it that it's almost always a good pickup. You almost always get to the end of the game. And, uh, yeah, what did we do? See, once again, Lake Marineris and stuff. Okay. Well, did we get our, uh, our cards? All right, we got something. Um, I want 
this and I want the last ocean. That's going to give them a point. I don't really care enough to help them. I think if you're in Veter with this much money, you buy every single point card. Exactly. Pretty much. Not only do you buy every single point card with Vitor with this much money, but when you have $5 off, like buying the card is basically free because of the rebate. So you're just getting really cheap points. Like, would you say Zeppelins is a bad card? Because Tropical Resort is basically Zeppelins. Just instead of having an oxygen requirement, there's a heat per requirement production. And you get two points and you can use steel on it. So like, I don't know. Obviously buying standard project cities and stuff is also really powerful. He bought the city that I wanted, which I couldn't do, unfortunately. Yeah, Zeppelins is okay in rare situations. This is the rare situation though. When you have $5 off Universal and your VTOR and you have Zeppelins at the end of the game for just a cheap point. Let's um let's play our open city right here and then let's also play an underground city. 2 points is kind of lame, but it is um, eligible for polar or desert settler. This is a disgusting Vitor game. Basically, auto win. If you had card draw, it would be 160. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, every card draw with minus five global rebates is the worst ones. Just play them all. Exactly right. Like it's Vitor is stupid. You're right. Everybody, everybody hating on Vitor right now makes so much sense. Yeah, and people did poor drafting in terms of stopping me from getting discounts i think they played a couple though uh not really eh just one shuttles advanced alloys arctic algae the fact that he's valley trust and has a discount on science is nice um industrialist steel and energy we don't really do that Desert, real estate. Uh, I don't really love it. I don't really love it. We could put one more thing down beside the oceans, but look at this. Fobolog has all of these plants. So I don't think we're in a really good spot for those awards. Industrialist is the only one I think of, but really all of our energy is gone next turn let's just play in the south does red have any plant income not really estate dealer i disagree i don't think it's safe at all right we're seven to seven and he's got six plant income and ten plants in hand. I think he's he's doing pretty good. <laughs> I wouldn't wanna I wouldn't wanna fight him on that. Would have converted by Red City gives you a possible plant for endgame conversion. Uh, are we are we one away? Oh yeah, we are too. Yeah, well I think we play Zeppelins. And then I think we play a standard Project City. And you're right. Get up to the plus one. And now we're on the break point for a bonus greenery. And we have protected habitats. So as long as they don't play an animal card to eat our production, we should be fine. If you... Standard Project City and converted plants where he was. It's nine. You have enough. I mean... He, I wanted to build a city there, but he got it ahead of me, right? If I had done it there instead of down here, then we would have gone for it for sure. That would have given you a plant. Should have cityed by the two greeneries. Yeah, well...
Yeah, 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 yeah. This, this over here. This is a good city spot as well, though. I mean, like we're at the end of the game. We're just, we're just wrapping it up. I don't, I don't see anything else to do here. But you're right. I, I tunnel visioned on chat saying, oh, you could have placed your converted for your greenery for the one plant. When we're doing a standard project, I could have just as easily done a city for a point to myself, lock down the board, get more plants and more potential adjacencies instead of giving them a better city spot. So that was that was a misplay, I will say. How many points does red have on cards? 18. So it's kind of close, I guess. We still win the only funded award. And if I sold all my cards, I don't have enough to buy another award. Though, again, I don't think we actually win Industrialist, even though it looks that way. Desert Settler... Like, couldn't we lose it to red? Well, it's a moot point. We don't have enough for it anyway. So, uh... So, yeah, let's just pass. It completely doesn't matter. You're right. I mean, honestly, though, it's a... Closer than you'd expect. The fact that he has 20 TR over me, right? Like, Red has 20 TR over me. He's only got 18 points on cards to my 37. So I've got 20 points on him. So it really comes down to the award and the milestones. Like, it's a way closer game than you'd expect. Or wait, sorry. I said we have 31. We have 34. So really, he's got like 15 points on me. So yeah, never mind. He, he we're definitely gonna win by like 10 points, but it's not insane. Like we didn't completely crush. How many points does he have on the board though? Like four, another three plus some. So he has like 10 points on the board, where we have like probably a little bit more than that as well. So maybe we're ahead by 15. Either way, we're just chilling here waiting for the, the tally to come up. We're not worried. Um, green, on the other hand, has what? That's like 5 points, 2 points. Green race for 10 points. But he's only got 24 points on cards. And he's got less TR than us. And he doesn't have an award. Bonus greenery we put beside our city. But yeah, instead of buying this greenery, we could have bought a city over here. And maybe it would have stopped him from getting a bonus greenery. Because apparently he needed that plant. What's your elo, by the way? Rankings doesn't work. I, um, I don't know. I don't know. And maybe you can help me find out right now. Uh, either way, if you're watching on the YouTube side, the postdoc side, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.